just on the last video, as I called you all broke, all of you also make excuses all the time. So we're going to lead off of that from the last video. Excuses are such a pet peeve of mine, and I think they are for you too. And I can't say I've never made excuses, but when you break that habit, because I think that's all it is, making excuses, I think is just a habit. When you break that habit, you realize what you are capable of. You realize what you can do. I think it opens your mind more. You figure out ideas. Instead of making excuses why you can't do something, you try to find a solution as to how you can do that thing. And now that I've kind of created this mentality or developed this mentality of trying to always find a, a solution, and I mean, I'm not perfect. I can't always think of everything. So I'll go to people like Kirby or someone that has maybe better ideas in the field that I'm trying to think of and just always looking for an answer instead of now I'm seeing, you know, now that I've developed that mentality, I see people more vividly how everybody's trapped in that mentality that, Oh, well, I can't do this because of this, or I don't want to do this, or there is, there's just always an excuse or you give them advice and they give you a reason like they give you give them advice that they're seeking and they give you a reason why they can't do it. So why ask for the advice in the first place? But I know this one boils your blood, Kirby. So good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to dissect it a couple ways because, I mean, what you just said, the last part was like spot on. I mean, those people right there get on my nerves The people who always got a got a uh, got a problem with every solution. You know, those that's that's the majority of the people out there. And people just want to be victims. People want to be a victim of the circumstance. I mean, Alex, I remember we, we always talk about we always bounce real estate ideas off, and then you'll be like, well, What about this? I always come with the I mean, I'm always gonna shoot back a solution. It might be the wrong ass answer, but I'm gonna give you an answer. Right. But it because for me it's all about making your brain work because every people just want to shut down. Somebody say no, and then they just oh, well, I just can't do it. No, it's another way. You always can find a way. I mean, me, maybe it's, you know, military upbringing or whatever. No excuse. No excuse. I'm a person that if you say you're going to do something, you're going to get it done. And uh, and and that's worked with me in a lot of real estate deals. I mean, I've I've done real estate deals with, and I wasn't even the highest, highest bidder. But the only thing I tell them is, and then they'll ask me, do you want to raise your bid? I said, no. Ask the seller this question. Do he want the deal to get done or do he want a deal that possibly won't get through, won't close escrow, will not miss out on financing? And he got to repost it, uh, repost the property when he thinks he's about to have a sale. And a lot of times that gets the realtor to be like, well, yeah, I like your answer better. So I'm going to try to encourage the seller to go with you. And his work on a few occasions. Because I don't want to be the victim. I never play the victim because the truth is, nobody really gives a damn. You know, it can make you feel good that everybody's feeling sorry for you, but nobody really gives a damn. As soon as you get off the phone telling somebody, like, oh, woe is me, they're going to hang up the phone and call somebody else and be like, look at this old punk motherfucker here. That's what they're going to do. So why? Why do you want somebody to feel sorry for you? Um, and then the whole element of having excuses for me is like you said, your brain just shuts down. You don't want to do it. Just stop asking the question. Hey, how can I get it done? I mean, like Alex, when we talk, you'd be like, hey, this, they said no on this. Okay, well, why don't we do it this way? Why don't you try to do it this way? It ain't usually for somebody's gonna give an excuse. Oh no, that won't work. That won't work because of this. They always got a problem for every solution that you bring. We just go try. If it work, great. If this paperwork don't work, let's try some other paperwork. If this verbiage in a in a contract don't work, use something else. But shutting down, that's what stops everybody. And you see it a lot in investing. And, that, and this is funny. Like people think when they especially new to investing, they think, oh, I'm gonna put, let's say, $5,000 in the stock market and I'm going to be a millionaire in a week. The stock market don't go in their favor 
and they don't go up that week and it goes down, then they just give up. They lose motivation. Just, hey, what else do I need to learn? What else, what other tools do I need in my tool bag? How do I need to analyze these companies instead of just looking on the news trying to find a hot new thing that's out there? How do I look at financial statements? They don't question how, if one person was successful at something, why not just look to see what that person do when they analyze it? We got the information is out there. But people just shut down or they just go back to their normal world. That's why during the, the COVID phase when the stock market was going up, everybody was jumping in the stock market. Then when they start losing money, then everybody just dissipated and go away. Because they don't understand the ebbs and flows of the market. They don't understand economic cycles. They don't understand inflation and how all that uh, works about. They don't understand how the market works. They don't understand how the economy works. I remember when we was doing a class, I think it was like eight months ago. And I, you probably remember the slide, but I put up the slide of, all right, uh, interest rates went down to zero, demand rose, prices rose. And then we just went through the economic cycles of, all right, now inflation is rising. Inflation is rising, demand will slow down. People will get laid off. You know, yada, yada, yada. Companies will go bankrupt. You know, there'll be four sellers in the market. I put that out eight months ago. And then people will look and be like, what is he talking about? And then now it's all coming to fruition. I'm not a mad genius. I just look at the economic cycle. History repeats itself. Why? Because everybody don't study history. They don't study history. And then they repeat the same thing over and over and over again. And the reason why kids today have excuses because they've seen their parents give excuses. If the parents didn't let their kids give them an excuse, like my son now, he's nine years old. He get, I get on his nerves because everything I tell him to do, so he say something, I say no excuse. Only thing I want you to do is execute. I don't want to hear your reasons why it didn't happen. Execute. So he's probably going to be a punishment his whole life because he don't know, he ain't executed. But he's going to get there. Don't worry about it. I will motivate him to get there. But that's not that's not an element. Like right now, my wife is sick. I told her, hey, just, you know, take the weekend off. Don't do nothing. And we'll get into what my wife doing in another video. But I said, just take the weekend off, relax. My wife was up before me. Out and about, doing what she do to, you know, what let her, I mean, to get her endeavors going. Sick ain't stopping. And she don't have to work. She don't have to do anything. And being sick ain't stopping. But everybody just want that easy out. That easy way to just say, oh, no, I can't. An easy way to be lazy. So that's what's going on. It's And then it's, it's an inheriting trait that if you let it keep going on in, in your house, your kids are going to be the same way, and it's going to be a perpetual cycle of failure and brokenness because everybody wanted an excuse. But Alex, I'll let you take it. Yeah, when people, I got like fifty more. So <laughs> people, I know <laughs> when people, and I'm sure some of the viewers listening maybe know somebody, maybe at least one person that is always working doesn't give themselves excuses always shows up they're sick it doesn't matter someone passed away they're still showing up and you speaking to the audience have probably told that person hey take a day off you know take a break but compare your and i'm not one to you know try to compare people but compare what you've accomplished to compared to what they've accomplished what have they obtained or in what have they succeeded compared to where you've gotten in life and just look at that because i i get that a lot i get a lot of people that always tell me why don't you take a day off why don't you take grievance days i had no idea that was even a thing when someone passes away it what does that do it doesn't for me it, it's it it doesn't do anything. There's no productivity coming out of that. The, the I mean, unfortunate as it is, the person's gone and you've got to just come, you just got to move on. I mean, me taking a grievance day isn't going to bring the person back. Me sure. skipping out on work isn't going to heal me if I'm sick. It, I'm still going to be sick. 
So you've got to just keep pushing and just deal with it and continue to perform. And out of that, out of continuing to perform, you will have success and you will get closer and closer to the goals that you're trying to reach. But for those that want to take those days off, just look at your life and look at, compare it to those who have not taken days off and see where they've gotten in life compared to where you have. That's how I would look at it. So Alex, uh, I got a question for you. So, I mean, and, and, uh, your family's gonna kill me, but anyway, I'm still <laughs> next. All right, so, <clears throat> so you got you got a lot of ventures going. You know, you got you know you got your you got your nine you got your nine to five. You have you know you got your online gig going. You got your real estate going. You got YouTube going. You got you got you got a couple irons in the fire. I know you hear it. Why don't you just take a break sometime? You don't have to work that hard. Do you, do you hear? Yeah. Do you hear? And then I got a quick. The people that tell you to take a break sometime, what percentage of the people actually have money or what percentage of the people are actually broke? I say 100% of them are broke. It's yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because they have, they have excuses. That's they, they want you, and it's funny that it's the people with nothing want to convince somebody with something to, oh, you need to come down here to my level and I have nothing with you. Or develop the same mentality that I have. Why? You, The person who have nothing want to be where you're at, but they're convincing you to come join, <clears throat> excuse me, they trying to convince you to come join the mentality that they have. But they don't realize the mentality you have got you where you're at. That's the part that's very amazing. So sorry that Alex family and friends who he just busted out. And I mean, for me, it's like, you know, I also hear like if I if I go somewhere, if I'm traveling. I hear like, well, why don't you just like I hear this a lot. Why don't like you're always on your phone. Why don't you put your phone down? Like and I told one person, I said, if I put my phone down, I'll lose money. And they're like, oh, okay, big shot. Like, but it's like, if I put my phone down, I could miss an opportunity. And I'm still enjoying myself. It's not like I'm like out here, like, oh, I gotta work. Oh, I hate this. No, because my mentality is already set to know I am available 24-7, no matter where I'm at. And I can still enjoy myself out and about traveling, whatever. And I actually I would also argue I enjoy the fact that I can do this i can travel and i can still work instead of having to put work aside i lose an income to go travel i can keep both going at the same time and make an income while i'm traveling i enjoy that so and i don't think many people can do that um but i hear i hear that as well as long along with um you know why don't you take a break i hear that also i heard it uh, Alex is always available, so just give him a call. Hell, I know <laughs> yeah. I call him at three, four in the morning. So yeah. it's in front of me. No, the best. Well, one, let me... I was like, no, the best one. Kirby will call me like as soon as I get to work. Be like, "What are you doing? Working?" <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Oh, okay." Like every, every, yeah. without fail, man. It's so funny at three o'clock. I'm like <laughs> calling me every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, man. With, for all y'all have been, uh, liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, leave the comments in the comment section. Tell Alex uh, how how crazy he is and he needs to take a break. Uh, please bombard the comment section with taking a break so Alex can reply to those comments. And I uh, will see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. See you guys.